Hi all, in this video, I'm going to give the answers of the interview questions that I've discussed in the previous short. So the question first was that outside test.start test, I've already made around 95 SQL queries. Now inside test.start test and stop test, I have made additional 15 SQL query. Will I get 101 SQL error or not? So as you can see, I have made around 95 SQL over here. And then inside test.start test and stop test method, I have made additional 15 queries. And we all know the limit of SQL within a single transaction is 100. If you go beyond that, you get a 101 SQL error. But over here, you have consumed already 95 queries. So you just have five additional query capacity. If you go beyond that, you will get a 101 SQL error. But there's an exception to this. Inside test.start test and test.stop test, what happens is your governor limits get reset. So now, as soon as you enter inside the test.start test, you have additional limit of 100 SQL query. And out of those 100, you're using 15. So that's why you won't get 101 SQL error. Now, as soon as you move outside the test.stop test, again, you will only have 5 SQL query limit left. This is because 95 was already exhausted. Out of which, 95 was exhausted and only 5 is left for you outside test.start test and test.stop test. But within this, the limits get reset and hence you can more make an additional 100 queries. So no, you won't get, as you are using only 15 SQL, you won't get 101 SQL error. Let's move on to the next question that can we upload the data using CSV and test class? So the answer is yes. There is a function called as test dot load test. If you don't know about it, you should know that test dot load test can be used in order to upload the data to your Salesforce or to your test classes using CSV. Now the steps to this is first, you need to create a static resource. Now, once you create a static resource, upload your Excel file to it. Okay. Once you do that, then you, what you need to do is inside your test class, you have that static resource available. Let's name this static resource as test. Now, in order to use this particular XML file inside or the Excel file inside your test class, you can use test dot load test. And inside this first parameter you have to provide for which object do you want to insert the data? Okay. So let's say I want to put it for the account, then, then that dot object type comma then the name of the static resource which is test in our case so what it's going to do is it is going to pick things from the static resources and put it inside the account object head. but keep things in mind that you have to map the fields inside excel itself so answer is yes you can upload it using csv as well let's move on to the next question that what is at the rate test visible okay there's an at the rate test visible annotation used for what is it used for exactly so let's consider there is a class one Okay, and there's a private variable names. Okay, I'm going to name it as PVT. Okay, instead of private hole, I'm going to name it as var1. Okay, string var1. And I have one more class, let's say class 2. Okay, now what I want to do is I want to access this variable. Okay, access this variable inside class 2, which won't be possible because the variables which are private can be only accessed within the same class itself. As we all know, as the oops concept, the classes, basically whatever the variables that have been declared as a private, okay, the private variable are only accessible within that particular class itself. They are not accessible outside this class. So this where one will be only accessible within the class one itself. It cannot, cannot be accessed within the class two. But let's say your class two is a test class now, right? It's a test class. Inside test class, if I have a private variable or even if I have a private function, okay, in order to cover that particular function, what I need to do is I need to call that function itself, right? Inside test class, then how would I call this kind of function? So in that case is what you can do is you can declare such variable as is test visible. So what this is going to do is this private functions and private variables will be at least visible to our functions uh, or to our test classes. So with the help of this, you can actually run the test classes uh, for this particular function, even though they are private and of some another method, some uh, of some another class. So this was all about today's interview questions. If you found this video helpful, I request you to please like this video and subscribe to my channel.